Can you hear that? It's raining outside, which is exciting. And I'm going to start a fire. But I did not plan ahead and bring in any tinder. And it's already wet. So instead of worrying about it or kicking myself for not preparing, I actually appreciate these, uh, these situations because uh, you get to slow down and just say, hey, how am I going to do this? Not, uh, hey, I screwed up. And then by dealing with this here in the safety of my own home where I have a sleeping bag and it's dry, I can go warm up if I want to or go use my propane burner. Uh, it's a good opportunity to uh, have the mind just kind of calm down and not panic and just say, hey, how am I going to deal with this? So uh, I looked at what I had here and it was just... Uh, large pieces of wood, but one of them was cedar. So I tried this, just pulling off some bark. And sure enough, just by folding it a couple of times and then uh, going like that, all of a sudden I have some excellent tinder. And it's excellent because it also has these uh, little bit bigger clumps of the outer bark. So I've got my uh, hair-like tinder that ignites easy. And then this uh, next level, that's what I call it, the, um, the next level of burning. That will transition it into the bigger level, which this is wet. I went outside and got it. So... We'll see. I already did a couple here. So um, this should be plenty to get that wet wood uh, uh, lit up. And then I got some that's a little bigger. <clears throat> what I could do is even break this open because it's just the outsides that are uh, damp. The inside is still nice and dry. So if I were to grab my uh, hatchet and split this into quarters that would also give me some good dry exposed wood but again I'm in the safety of my own home so I like to uh, experiment with what can be done and try doing it uh, the careless way as I'm calling it uh, with just what I have here and see if that's actually enough I could also peel off the outer bark here. So anyway, let's see if I can start a fire. Well, having a hard time even keeping the tender going. That's kind of weird. So let's just get the wood in place. Uh oh, I didn't know the tender would be the hard part. I used to use cedar tinder when I was a kid, and this is bringing back memories. I haven't had to blow on it like this. Now that I use uh, cottonwood and uh, sagebrush, I love sagebrush and cottonwood tinder. enough to start that bigger piece and if so then I'm on the road to a real fire and enjoying some tea and coffee and breakfast oh, oh. there we go I uh, hope to film a video today I'm really behind, but I hope to get one today. I'm move, I moved into a wall tent. I'm going to do a video about that and, uh, and just what's going on. So thanks for watching, folks. Take care. I am a truly wealthy man.